Hey, this is Zero at ReviewZone HD, and I'm bringing you guys the first of several LEGO Lord of the Ring videos this week. Going to be showing highlights of the opening section along with the entire second half of the first stage, unedited, so I'm not clipping up the second half. So how about the first impressions? I have to say, I'm completely blown away and overly impressed with the first half hour of this game. I'm kind of limited on how much I can show to you guys with the cutscenes because I wasn't actually sent a review copy of this one. And actually, this video almost didn't happen tonight because I went to GameStop to pick up my reserved copy and they told me none of the stores in Charlotte got their shipment in. I'm not sure if any of the GameStops got one in North Carolina, but I canceled my pre-order there and it just so happens the Best Buy across the street was doing a midnight launch of the new Black Ops title. They had a couple copies of Lord of the Rings so here we go. Now at the beginning of this year there were a few games I said I was most looking forward to and this was one of them and Hitman's right around the corner so I can't wait to cover that one as well. That's the other game I was really looking forward to playing this year. It'll be a nice change of pace for sure. I went from covering an RPG, two racing titles, a hunting game, a wrestling game, now a Lego game, and then next week I'll be manhunting targets on Hitman. So it should be a lot of fun just switching gears with all these different games. But November's definitely holding some of the biggest releases for the year. But I'm really excited to see just how good this game's going to get because the opening for it is absolutely spectacular. The cutscenes were extremely well done, well polished. It's using the same exact soundtrack and the narrator from the movies and they didn't try to teeny bopper the scenes up to appease the younger crowd. Just like with Lego Batman 2, you can tell right away from the get-go that this game has a serious tone to it. The very first opening battle scene does start off a little slow, which is why I edited the first part. It's kind of just teaching you the controls for the game, but the rest of the stage kind of highlights what you're probably going to expect with the rest of the game. And it looks really nice graphically. It's running smooth so far. The audio is what really brings this one to life though. It feels like you're playing along with the actual movie and that's what makes it so exciting. I for one have played several and I do mean several Lord of the Ring titles and I haven't been too impressed with any of them including last year's role-playing game War in the North which I reviewed and to sum up that review I basically said wait till it hits the discount bin. It wasn't a horrible game but it just wasn't that great either. Now so far I have reviewed Lego Batman 2 and Pirates of the Caribbean this year which I thought both of those games were great and I did review Lego Star Wars 3 last year which is a decent game nothing spectacular and finally I did spend a little time playing Lego Indiana Jones this year so I was considering reviewing that but I haven't so far but I am familiar with this franchise so it'll be kind of interesting to see what kind of changes take place between this game and Lego Batman and Pirates of the Caribbean but this might be the Lord of the Rings title that finally hits the mark that's what I'm hoping for one that really captures everything about the movies and is fun to play and so far from everything I'm seeing it may actually be the one Lego game to rule them all. Now, I haven't watched any of the movies in about a year. I watched all of them on their midnight releases when they first came out. I'll be doing the same with The Hobbit when it releases later this year. I have all the movies on Blu-ray and I think they're great movies. It's a big reason why I was looking forward to playing this one so much. It does make me feel a little bit nerdy but I don't really care. I'm definitely going to enjoy covering and playing this one this week and I have a lot to talk about to you guys, my subscribers. I have several topics that I've just been waiting for the right opportunity to discuss with you guys and that's going to be this week. I have topics that I wanted to talk about like a month ago so finally going to get that chance this week and I hope you guys are excited for the coverage on this one. I'll have to get a little bit deeper into the game to decide if I can do a full walkthrough or not. I only have a week to cover it, so we'll see how it goes. But this is Zero at Reviews on HD. I'm going to let the rest of this one roll with the end game sound, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
fire! Destroy it! No. For two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Until...